Good morning, guys. So, today I'm going to do a, uh, a recorded video about teaching my setup for MK11. If you watched my live stream last night, I did, um, I did something similar, but you couldn't see me. So this time, I'm showing you guys. I'm using the PS4, obviously. And, um... Predominantly, what I do, I love, the, I love PS4 controllers because the sticks aren't staggered. So I can use my thumb to manipulate one stick and my index to manipulate the other. But in this case, um... Mortal Kombat 11 doesn't require right stick movement. And I'm able to use my thumb to manipulate the left stick for movement. And my index finger manipulates all four face buttons. And um, R1. I'm going to explain how this all comes into play. Um... Get into the game here. This is not a ladder video. It won't even be that long. Um, so first we're going to go into the options menu. And I'm going to show you guys. Um, so my, pro my issue was always defense with Mortal Kombat. I reached out to Perfect Legend. Um, a lot of you know him in the fighting game community. Um, and I told him about my troubles. I showed him my video, um, which is called the video you've always wanted to see. And that was basically a video showing you guys how I play with one hand and he was impressed but he told me I need to block more and so what he suggested because the block and the block uh, button is on the right hand side by default he suggested flipping my block button and my flip stance button because I don't usually flip stances I have no idea what it uh does in, a, in an MK game. I don't know what purpose it serves. Um, so what I did was, you can see, I did end up switching the block and flip stance, and that's how I'm able to um, fix my defensive issues. The other thing I didn't realize while doing this is the R1 button is now my um, move to use the offensive meter gauge um, so I'm just gonna show you some tips on the characters that I have learned using um, no we could just go into practice practice learn because when you practice you learn all right so these are the characters I have learned with we're gonna look at Liu Kang we're gonna look at spawn we're gonna look at Fujin and we're gonna look at Shiva um, those are the characters that I've learned new things with so we might as well go with Liu Kang. Liu Kang first since my cursor was on him to begin with we're gonna work on Sub-Zero and no we're gonna work on we'll work on Collector because I don't like that character whatsoever alright 
Doesn't matter what background. Remember, the meter burn is R1. So. Now. There's two. There's two moves that I really know how to do. Low fireball. Can pretty much get that to come out on on command if I needed to. So the enhanced version is The troublesome thing sometimes is to get these uh, moves to come out, but you got patience, they will come out. I'm failing. There it is. There's your enhanced first. Okay, you let out. You let out one low and one high, and that costs one gauge of offense meter. See, there you go, I can. All right. Now, second move is the bicycle kick. I tried to do it again there. But that's the uh, normal. It's very quick and it gets in about six hits. See, now, that got, that went from, like, 5 to 16. Okay. Now, the fly kick, the window is much more difficult because you have to do it. You can also get an extra hit on the dragon's parry. I've explained that back forward motions are a little bit harder for me to get to come out. The uh, fly kick just adds a flip kick to the end of it. So now, now we're gonna go um, back to the fighter select. And now we're going to work with one of the DLC fighters, Spawn. And I think Collector's just going to be our, our training dummy. For the purpose of this video. Black Market Alley. Now. There's really two moves, um, two moves I know about with spawn. All right, we're gonna look at those now. Guns blazing, um, and fatal phantasm. That is regular Fatal Phantasm there. Yeah. 
That's the enhanced version of Fatal Phantasm. That's guns blazing. Normally, that's just at the feet. I'll, sh I'll show that again. That's just at the feet. That's a normal. And the guns blazing. Enhanced pulls out the machine guns. Now let's let me see something. I believe the there's an enhanced version of the um the grab that you just saw. Anyway, those are the two I know with him. And those result in very big damage. Finally, we're going to go and check out Shiva. Um, because these are, again, the people. Well, we're going to look at Fujin because... He's the person that I discovered that I could EX moves with. Collector. Collector. Black Dragon. Black Dragon Fight Club is fine. And if you guys like these teaching videos, please let me know. Um, so, jump kick. That's a combo that I learned. Jump kick and the wind kicks. I'm going to show you the level of damage it does by itself. First, let's reset the... Uh, let's reset the... Uh, That's the level it does by itself. And that's the level it does with enhanced. Okay. Um, and that's really useful if you want to carry someone into the corner and apply great Great corner pressure. Um, but yeah, there's that. I don't know too much with him, so I'm really learning, but... Fighter select. Gonna go into check out Shiva here. And... And for the final training dummy portion of the video, So, with her, she's got a really easy move that you can enhance. That's, that's the regular stomp. Okay, this is... Uh, wait. This is the regular stomp. And this is the EX version. You add a, st a third final stomp to that. Now that initi that also initiates a crushing blow. So 
so let's see if we can get that going here. I don't know if it allows us to get the crushing blow. Yes, it does. Okay, it does. All right. Now, another another thing she can do. Oh, she does. She doesn't have her grapple in this in this in this setup here. But she also she also does have a grapple um in her in her um. in her arsenal and unfortunately I'm unable to show that so that was my was my teaching um and so now I'm gonna do one fight with a fighter of my choosing and show you how it works in in uh in, in an actual battle situation. Alright. So. I'm going to show you spawn. And then. If you guys have any. Success. Using these tactics. Um, you can feel free to let me know. Now you can also. Flip this. Configuration if you're a right handed individual. Um, you can have your block and enhance button on the same side, or if you would prefer to, um, have block on one side and interact on the other, um, you can do that as well. So, we're gonna work with spawn here. And we're going to work against Raiden, because I am not a fan of that character right now. being very cooperative um okay There's the guns blazing.
Wow. I got trolled by the training dummy and, and he grants me mercy. <laughs> All right, so I do live to find another day here. There's the EX Final Phantasm. There we go. Anyway guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys like these videos, like, comment, subscribe for more, and I will teach you more tactics for different fighting games. And if you have any questions, about these tactics feel free to leave a comment down below um you can reach out to me in the comments if you follow me on twitter twitter you can do that too which is at the real ohg86 um you can follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash o underscore h underscore g we still have a giveaway going on there. And we have five more followers to get to 25. And I can crown a winner of the Streets of Rage for a giveaway. Alright. Anyway guys, I'll see you later. See you in the next video and stream.